Hi there, Capricorn. How's it going? It's time for your weekly horoscope for the coming seven days. And just a quick reminder for everybody out there, should you ever wish to get a session with me, you do need to go on ahead to my website. It's called integrativemysticism.com. Or you can always just follow the links below by opening up the down bar. And for those of you who like the incoming wave videos, those are well, now they're their own video, and I've actually got them on a playlist of their very own on my main channel page, where again, you can open up the down bar below and follow the links. So what is happening when it comes to this coming week? Well, Capricorn, the hanged man is basically the major theme or the overlighting uh, focus of everything going on in your experience this week. And even before I hit record, just the focus on letting other people's realities play out really stood out. And I was like, okay, I already know what I'm going to talk about. Wow, okay. And with the hanged man, this is very much the energy that I'm getting here. Letting other people's realities play themselves out. Now, this is not advocating depraved indifference. If somebody is in real trouble, or if somebody is in a situation where they're in a clear and present uh, state where they need assistance, of course, get involved. Common sense. But with the hangman upright as the main theme, it's important to understand that we also need to call back our energies and our activities every once in a while, especially where we might be too involved running interference for people, maybe even interfering in their own reality experience. Sometimes interfering in another person's reality experience means controlling outcomes, right? Even if it means protecting them from things that they're creating for themselves. And with the hangman, you are asked to step back a little bit, to call your energy back a little bit. Focus on your own inner space, your own personal reality, versus trying to maybe create an environmental outcome for others. Because with the hangman, I'm getting a very clear understanding that what is taking place is that you are going through a moment or maybe a week where the cream is going to rise when it comes to your connections, your opportunities for abundance, your field, your work, your career. But you have to make sure that you're not maybe distributing that support or that energy into places, people, and things that are ultimately not going to be utilizing them to their greatest effect. And that can sometimes be a difficult place to be, right? We want to support our friends. We want to be there for our family members. We want to see things get a happy ending, even if they're shoddily put together, or even if they're not being well taken care of. But with the hanged man this week, you are going to notice that the less you are actively involved in another person's story, another person's reality experience, the more energy is going into yours. And you're going to be finding that it's time to be a little bit sacred in your selfishness. Now, I don't mean selfish as in greed or vanity or any of those lower energies there. But letting yourself take a more inward focus is going to make the difference for yourself and for others. In fact, as we get to the Three of Swords reversed when it comes to your material concerns, I'm seeing a lot of you uh, Capricorn people need to make a decision that is going to put you first above somebody else that you do have some kind of material or social loyalty to. And this is not necessarily going to go down easy for them. But with the Three of Swords reversed, we have to make sure that we can overlook the compulsory guilt or maybe any kind of sense of obligation or responsibility to their reality. Essentially, you are making sure that you're getting more of your own umbrella and that more of your resources and your energy come back to actually serve you. Now, this can show up in a number of different ways, whether we are actually taking full credit for something we deserve all that credit for, possibly even accepting a position, a gift, or even abundance that is meant for us and that we are keeping. It's a little red hen kind of moment for those of you who are familiar with that children's story. And you have to be okay with potentially triggering a, be a betrayal issue 
or a betrayal complex or whatever in uh, either a, a coworker, a friend, or even a family member. But this is a week where you are now in a situation where you have to take care of your own. And it's not to say that you are doing anything hurtful or hateful, but with the Three of Swords reversed, this is going to create a potential rift between you and somebody who might not know to do the same for you. As we get to your uh, communications or your uh, social life, friends and relatives and all of that kind of stuff, we have the Three of Cups upright. And funny enough, you're actually doing very, very nicely this week. I think that as you are dropping a lot of maybe difficult people, or you might even call it dead weight, or taking your own prior, you know, taking yourself as your top priority, you're going to be finding that you're also recovering a lot of relationships that have maybe been pushed back, pushed aside, or pushed to the wallflower zone as we had been maybe nurse mating or helicopter parenting perfectly capable adults. In fact, with the Three of Cups upright, a lot of you Capricorn people are in for so many happy reunions and happy times this week because you are allowing yourself to actually live your life as opposed to be a chaperone of another person's life. The Three of Cups upright is indicating here that even friends and allies are coming that are going to be lifting you up and possibly even deciding they're going to dedicate some of their energy to your reality experience without you even having to reciprocate. As we get to the relationship side of things, it does look like with the Queen of Pentacles reversed, there may be some issues that come up with romance with a partner or unintended or a crush or someone that we're seeing or possibly even somebody new having a difficult time getting themselves out of a hole they dug themselves into. And that's a very Queen of Pentacles reversed kind of problem. She digs herself her own hole and doesn't know when to stop digging. Now, the thing about the Queen of Pentacles reversed here is, of course, we don't want to be super callous with our partner or our kid or, you know, whatever is going on in this situation. Because again, this could be you and your partner observing this in one of your children. But if this is a partner or this is even somebody new, you have to know it's okay to still step back from this situation. Remember, we're not going in and chaperoning another person's growth and maturity, especially when there's somebody we're dating or married to. But with the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, it is also going to be important for you to know that it is okay for you to help them find the answers they're looking for without being the answer that they are looking for. And I feel as though with the Queen of Pentacles reversed here, this is something that ultimately, it's not going to, you know, be something that is so hard they can't come back from. But you, Capricorn, need to be strong enough to be able to know when this is a partner's adult responsibility. This is uh, somebody you're dating's adult responsibility to kind of get themselves in a place where they can independently rely on themselves, their own sound judgment, and their own sound mind. And so be supportive, be encouraging, but don't defeat the purpose of their own lesson. So that is your horoscope. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. And should you ever want to get a session, go to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com.